Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Although viewers of the well-known reality show Sister Wise are used to the drama and conflict within the polygamous Brown family, Patriarch Cody Brown's recent remark has incited outrage, with many viewing it as one of the worst in the history of the program. Cody Brown has come under fire for becoming more and more problematic over time, despite his initial impression of being a helpful husband to his four wives, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin. Even though he was flawed in the first few seasons, his remarks and behavior did not become particularly incorrect until much later in the show. Screen Rant claims that in a recent Reddit discussion started by user Beautiful at 7616, fans spoke about Cody's worst actions on the show and came to the consensus that one particular phrase stood out as particularly nasty. The offending comment was made by Cody, who described his connection with Christine as a knife to the kidney. Many fans thought this was a contradictory phrase. This has got to be in the top 10 of worst and least aware of himself things he said, the viewer stated. When he said knife to the kidneys, another person wrote, how pathetic can Cody get? Cody's lack of self-awareness was met with contempt and dismay from the comments, especially in light of the background of his and Christine's daughter, Truly's kidney failure battle in 2022. A lot of fans thought Cody's comment was inappropriate. This remark, though, was only one instance of Cody's unusual conduct during the show. He's been accused of gaslighting his spouses, showing preference for Robin over other women, and saying hurtful things to his family members throughout the years. The already problematic situation has been made worse by recent revelations about Cody's behavior, which include melting Mary's ring to create a new one for himself and revealing that his previous wife lives in a barn. In addition, Cody's admission on the show that he only ever loved Robin out of all his spouses has further damaged his bonds with his kids and ex-wife. Some Cody admirers admit that despite his shortcomings, he should be given some grace for his attempts to sustain a polygamous household for nearly 30 years. Many, however, believe that his actions have gone too far, and they find it quite troubling that he doesn't show empathy or self-awareness toward his own family. Many Sister Wives viewers find Cody's remark that his connection with Christine is a knife to the kidney to be among the worst in the show's history, and it has provoked fury. Viewers hope that as the show progresses, Cody will learn from his mistakes and work to improve as a husband Brown, and father to star of Sister Wives has been in the news ever since she made her new lover, Amos, public. She infused about how much they both adore Christmas and how Zona, her new puppy, seems to appreciate him. Recently, the 53-year-old started sharing her weekly livestream with Jen on Instagram. That part also marked Amos's debut, but his jab at Cody was what drew a lot of attention. Understand why a lot of people think Mary's new partner made fun of her former. Mary Brown introduces Amos in Sister Wise in the most recent live stream. With Amos included, Mary's Fridays with Friends Instagram feature last week of even more entertaining. The man from Utah provided personal updates and addressed certain misconceptions. Among them were the tidings that he had four marriages. The new boyfriend of the Sister Wise star claims that he was only married three times. He verified his bankruptcy file as well. However, it appears that Mary is not at all bothered by his history. She even made a joke about how she has three ex-husbands and sister wives, so she's had one up on him. Many others were also drawn to Amos as it appeared like he was making fun of Cody's notorious haircut. The patriarch of the Brown family has frequently been made fun of for his hair. He was even called a Raymond, or noodle head by some. It all started when Amos was asked about his favorite snack food by Jen, a friend of Mary's. He declared that he enjoyed cashews while initially appearing astonished. But then Jen asked him if he enjoyed Top Raymond, which made Mary and her both burst out laughing. He gave the impression that he was aware of Cody's characteristic haircut when he said, no, not Top Ramen. Amos's purported ex-wife suddenly came to light when Mary made a significant declaration on their relationship. 
The anonymous woman claimed that Elmos is obsessed with reality TV personalities from shows like The Real Housewives and Sister Wives. In addition, the woman said that Elmos was an opportunist and that Mary would only be used by him for financial gain and notoriety. The ex-wife continued by saying that he has been engaged numerous times and that ladies have come and gone from his life. She went on, I believe he prefers to remain quiet so that he can carry on doing this to numerous people, describing the man as a narcissistic and controlling individual who it's gets very that jealous. Most Mary Brown's boyfriend has had multiple marriages, even if not much information about them has been made public. Notably, after witnessing Mary endure too many years of an emotionally bankrupt relationship that has alarmed a lot of Sister Wives fans. However, Mary downplayed the problem when supporters asked him directly about it. Concern is raised about Mary Brown's boyfriend, Amos. Mary Brown's new boyfriend thrilled Sister Wives viewers at first, but when they found out he had been married more than once, they started to worry. Fans find it impossible to believe Mary would start a relationship with someone who has allegedly been married four times before. Fans also observed Mary holding onto a toxic relationship with Cody Brown that had long since ended. On the other hand, Mary now comes off as practically distant when fans bring up the subject of Amos' past. Amos takes Mary Brown by surprise. Amos spoke with Sister Wives fans on Mary Brown's recent Instagram, Live Fridays with Friends. When he tells Mary that he has three ex-wives, she reacts in disbelief, asking, What? She then flips, though, and downplays the issue. With an apparent light-hearted tone, she states, I kind of have three ex-sister wives and an ex-husband. She then playfully outdoes him by saying, I beat you. Then she bursts into fits of laughter at the topic. Amos is asked about Mary's past by Jen Sullivan. Sister wives, Mary Brown attempts to lessen the blow by drawing attention to the oddities of her past relationships. She is notable for having an uncommon circumstance in that she was previously married to three sister wives and one husband. Can you tell me if Mary being an ex-polygamist in the public eye on a television show raised any red flags? Jen Sullivan queries Amos throughout the broadcast. Amos responds, yeah, it was, a little after that. Amos and Mary Brown initiate conversation. Even though Mary Brown acknowledges that she brought up multiple marriage the second time we talked, it appears that the topic was still somewhat concerning. But Mary says, yeah, I'm a really private person, in response to him. I ask myself, really? She goes on. He's like, yeah. I avoid using social media. Then he confides in her, saying, I'm a really private person. I don't welcome a lot of individuals into my life. Oh, so how private are you really, is how I feel. So we had a brief conversation about that. Furthermore, Emos acknowledges that he is a little shy during the live performance. Mary and Jen are going to break him of that. Mary Brown concentrates on the good. The couple declares, We're happy and we like each other a lot, a lot, despite this. Even though he isn't 6'6", they manage to pull it off because he is taller than Mary Brown. Mary specifically highlighted that he gave her a big, very safe, embrace during their first date. This was one of the main compliments but Mary seemed to console him by answering or softening the harshness when Jen posed the difficult questions. Amos has a lot of speeding fines when Jen inquires about them, but Mary brushes it off with a chuckle. At the same time, they both acknowledge having filed for bankruptcy. Mary, in particular, is highly understanding about Amos' history, stating that since they are both human, what matters most is how individuals behave in the future. One thing that might break the deal. However, Amos' admission that a circle is his favorite shape was practically a deal-breaker. Mary Brown has previously said unequivocally that she detests rounded edges because they take up unnecessary space. Despite their troubled pasts, they appear to be enjoying each other's company. They now have a name as a couple, Merimos, according to Jen, and the future success of the couple remains to be seen. What do you think of Mary Brown making fun of his previous marriages and justifying them by joking that, I beat you, a reference to her own past? Is Amos surprising you?
Do you believe he is suitable for Mary? Are you hopeful that season 19 of Sister Wives will bring us back? Please leave a remark below. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.